we are now in the Morph studio here at Ardman. Um, Morph is Ardman's longest running character. Uh, he will be 40 shortly. Um, here he is. Um, he's uh, he's a, a funny little guy. Um, and uh, he's uh, always starred in very short um, films. He doesn't speak. He, well, he does. But he has a sort of a nonsense speaking like that. And you, you don't necessarily understand what he's saying, but you understand his intention. He is a very pure kind of character animation because he's very physical and he has to present himself very... Um, uh, clearly to camera so that the audience know exactly what is going on in his head um, through his physical performance because his, his dialogue is, is um, not his primary form of communication. So Morph is um, uh, very simple. He is quite literally just a lump of modelling clay. Um, he starts life like this um, and just from sculpting it, and I should say we sculpt a whole morph just from one lump, um, 163 grams, and um, we extrude him from one lump. And the reason we do that is that modelling clay has a grain to it, and if you make his arms and his head and his legs and you kind of stick them all on, as soon as you try to, to move them, they will just fall apart. So we make the modelling clay soft, extrude out the legs and then the arms and the head, and you get a morph in the end. And you can animate with a morph for a couple of shots, but the nature of the modelling clay is, is that it gets dirty and it gets a bit rough and messy. So our animators are constantly remaking the morphs um, as they, um, not, not necessarily in the shot, although sometimes they will swap them in the shot, but usually between when there's a cut, make a new morph, start the shot with a new morph. Now, morph, is the most simple form of character stop motion animation that you can make just from a lump of modeling clay. The other kind is what um, we have inside Gromit and Wallace and most of our sort of more complicated characters and it's called an armature and an armature is one of these things and this is a um, it's a skeleton and what it does is it allows the character to stay in a very precise position and it allows the animator to have immense control over the position um, of each uh, limb and aspect of a character. Um, they're quite complicated, they're very tricky to make so that they work well um, and it's, it's, it's very good when you get to a certain level to have an armature but it's completely not necessary to start out with. A lump of modelling clay is all you need.